Hi, Cy Mike here from Music Radar, and today we're checking out the brand new Electro Harmonics Canyon delay and looper pedal. Mm, what a grand canyon it is. <laughs> God, that doesn't get any better. No. Um, so what we've got in here is 10 delay functions plus one looper. One looper, 10 delays. One looper, 10 delays. Um, so as we listened to in the intro, yeah, well, that was the octave yes. function. Yeah. So, so tell us a bit more about that one. Uh, so that one, uh, the pitch progressively rises mm -hmm. up an octave each time. So if I play the low E. Yeah. <laughs> As high as it can go. As high as it can go, yeah. Um, a lot of fun. Yeah, well, you can have a lot of fun with those. And that's the great thing about this this pedal. I mean, it draws on the EHX's lineage mm -hmm. of uh, you know pitch shifting, yep. delays. You've got the deluxe memory man yep. emulation, yep. Um, and general sense of fun. Yeah. So there's plenty on. So yeah. moving on to the next one. Which one's the next one? Shimmer. Shimmer. Which combines uh, Deluxe Memory Man with Hazarai. Yeah. Uh, two of those, isn't it? Two of those. Yeah, two of those. Parallel signal chains, one with a POG2 in there. Yeah. And a bit of compression at the front end from uh, an, an effectology video that uh, EHX did. So they've combined that all into one setting. Yes. What a lovely thing to do. Um, and big pad sounds ahoy. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, the next one we've got is the sample, sample hold. And hold. Wow. Can you believe it? Both in one. Whoa. Yeah. Um, oh, well, that's going to do exactly as it says. It is. Isn't it? <laughs> so we've got an infinite amount of sample and holding. Just showcasing the three second delay time. Okay. Go. And off. Um, and then the feedback, that dials your, your sensitivity for. The trigger, which is yes, strike, exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'll do it again. <laughs> Satisfying. Mm, very fun. Yeah. Again. Uh, God, it's I all about the fun. Got to that. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah. So next one is it verb? Um, Verb has a reverb applied to the tails of the delay. Okay. More dream. More dream. Moving on, slightly similar. Tape function, mm. but it has got that kind of analog wow flutter thing going on. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, um, yeah, give us a bit of that then. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Okay, that's good. It's good. Mm, lovely. And then the next we have Deluxe Memory Man. That's the one. The emulation. Yes. Right. And it seems a good time to talk about the edge <laughs> at this point because <laughs> it, you know, it's delay. Really to. It's Deluxe Memory Man. Yeah. Um, let's talk about tap tempo because okay. we need to mention dotted eighths. Okay. Go for it. A canyon is quite unusual in its tap tempo capabilities. Right. So you've got a tap divide switch, mm -hmm. which switches between quarter, dotted eighths, eighths. But the actual tapping of the foot switch is not like other compact pedals. OK. Um, it's essentially always in use. So if you're tapping the pedal on and off quite quickly, mm -hmm. you might accidentally set it off. Or you might bloody love this function. OK. So <laughs> here we go. Let's just tap in a tempo. There you go. Right. 
That was it, and I was just switching the pedal on and off. Yeah. So you wouldn't want to do that in the middle of a song where your delay's on. No. But obviously in between songs, you're fine. You're fine. They do have the tap in Yes. function. So you can put an external tap, tempo yeah. foot switch in. Mm -hmm. Or you can also disable the um, tap tempo built-in functionality with That's an internal switch. Internal switch. Too. And you've got an internal switch for tails as well. Okay. So reverb trails, uh, when you switch the pedal off, they ring out. Ours is currently set to cut off because I shouldn't be leaving. No, you need to be told when to stop. Trails, exactly. So, Someone needs to stop me. Yeah, that's the kill switch. Um, um, this is your deluxe memory man sound. Anyway, I've left you in suspense and now I'll play no Where the Streets Have No Name wrong. <laughs> good enough for me yeah it, it'll do um i don't know if the time was quite right on that but it's it's fine um and then i'll keep going through the the, uh, yeah, yeah. the next up we've got reverse well that does exactly what it's meant to. yeah it does what you think it will do <laughs> Dreamlike textures yes. for a very warm studio. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um, it's about to, because we're going on to mod now, aren't we? We're not. We're going on to multi. Oh. I'm sorry, Sai. I, feel, All I right. feel awful for denying I you. wish I could count. <laughs> now we're on multi. We're on multi. Uh, <laughs> this keeps the delay time at the same volume. Okay. But it's different sample holder that it does actually end. Yeah, and which is good. Definitely not trying to interrupt you there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a more tameable um, sample, sample and hold. hold. Yeah. Okay. Now it's the mod. <laughs> Get excited! It's mod time. Um, yes, this is the chorus setting. <laughs> See, that's, that's quite tame. It's quite tame, but there is another function to this, isn't there? There's, there's another, another level of a, yeah, an underbelly. A, it's the inception pedal. <laughs> uh, the, the EHX is known for putting in lots of stuff that you may not be aware of. Very, they kind of hide it. Yeah. You don't know it's there and yeah. necessarily. This is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. We have secondary functions accessed via holding the tap divide switch for a second. Now, depth and feedback control different functions. Okay. So on mod, it gets particularly weird. Uh, so we've got rate on the depth. So you can hear, it gets yeah. quite fast. Yeah. Splatting. Yeah, into like sort of. 8 bit glitchy. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. But then you've also got depth. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> we just get that little filter on. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That, I feel a bit queasy now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to turn those back down a little bit. Um, but the point is, you've got that versatility there, mm -hmm. and again, if I switch over to um, like Shimmer, you've got extra stuff to do. Yeah, make it proper, get proper nasty sounds. Yeah. And this this function is on all of them. It's on everything except for a couple of settings. Right. Um, one of which, this leads me neatly on to, I'll get out of this mode, right, back to normal. Mm -hmm. Echo is a standard digital delay. Yep. Nothing can go wrong. It's safe territory. <laughs> Famous <laughs> last words.
Okay, so the, the last function is the looper. It is indeed. Let's go all the way around. Round we go. Okay. So it's as the looper is, it's you know, you've got your basic start, stop, you can overdub. Yeah. Um, undo redo. Yeah. Save a loop if you so wish. Okay. Um, when you switch it off and on, the pedal will remember it. Okay. Very kind of it to do that. And what's the total duration? Uh, just over 60 seconds. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's a fair yeah, reasonable amount. amount. I mean, yeah. Okay. Perfectly reasonable. Well, let's have it. Let's show it off. Uh, you start, and I'll hit the thing. Okay. Go. This has never been done before. I'm sure it has. <laughs> Yes, spot on playing there. I good, think, very I think, good. I don't think we're going to be uh, bothering anyone soon in the looping. No. <laughs> <laughs> My glamorous looping assistant. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll stick to the day job. Yeah. Okay, so all in all, the Canyon, fully featured, all bells and whistles style delay looper. Yeah. Little box, not a lot of money. £139. Yeah. $139. It hey, pains me to say that. Uh, also 149 euros. Yeah. Um, you're getting a lot of pedal in a little box, aren't you? Well, exactly. I mean, some might bemoan secondary functions hidden away. Yeah. But hey, you've got the secondary functions. You've got them. Okay, yeah. You don't have to use them. No, you don't. A uh, bit of a steep learning curve on getting to grips with them. Yeah, we've never studied a manual quite as hard no. or religiously as, or as we have in this case. But we know it very well. Yeah, and and now, now you know, the pedal makes sense. It does make loads of sense. Yeah. Um, What's the competition at the moment? You're looking at TC Electronic Flashback, okay. Boss DD7, okay, yeah, yeah. that kind of territory of the, the, the compact do-all yeah, yeah. delay. Um, but it's got a bit more to it than those, isn't it? That's it. I mean, it's got the pitch, pitch functionality, mm -hmm. which you don't get in a lot of the smaller units, Sure. Uh, which you normally turn into Strymon and the likes of bigger pedals. The big money pedals, of course. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so. To have that in that compact enclosure is a, is a lovely thing indeed. It's a lovely thing indeed. So lovely. Let's have one more example. Oh, wait, come on, pick, pick us your oh, favourite. Oh, no. Pick us a winner. Can I pick a winner? I don't know, I'll go back to mod just because I, I liked it. And yeah. let's find out what we left it on. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Uh, hopefully, you know, we've, we've given you a quick insight into uh, what the canyon can do, which is quite a lot, I'm sure you'll agree. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so please like, subscribe, and comment wherever you're seeing the video right now, and um, be sure to check out musicradar.com for the news, tutorials, and reviews. Cheers. Cheers.